1B42 Late, The Power of Sycavast Prologue Welcome to the thrilling world of espionage and advanced technology. My name is 1B42 Late and I am the author of The Power of Sycavast, a gripping novel that takes you on an action-packed adventure filled with suspense and intrigue. In this book, you'll follow the story of Sam Chapman and his Black Ops team as they navigate through dangerous missions in pursuit to protect their country and the new quantum chip Model 1. With highly experienced men and women from the Black Ops team, powerful action and exciting chases and espionage missions, this book will keep you on the edge of your seat. The main character, Sam, is relatable and likable, and you'll find yourself rooting for him throughout the story. As you read, you'll also get an inside look into the inner workings of a secret organization and the political and geopolitical issues of the world. So fasten your seatbelt and prepare to be taken on a journey that will keep you guessing until the very end. Join Sam Chapman and his team as they race against time to retrieve the valuable Model 1 quantum chip from the cunning Chinese entity Tiger's Dawn, bent on destroying the American society. This book is sure to keep you on the edge of your seat as you follow the team through a world of action-packed espionage and high-tech technology and takes you straight to the year 2023, the hour of birth of the revolutionary quantum chip Model 1. Sit back and enjoy the ride of Sam and his Black Ops team on the mission of a lifetime. The Black Ops team. Sam and his elite Shadowfire squad were the ultimate Black Ops specialists feared and respected for their stealth, precision, and unparalleled expertise in clandestine missions. The prime Shadowfire squad, led by the unstoppable Sam Chapman, was a force to be reckoned with, a team of highly skilled and specialized individuals ready to take on any mission with precision and determination. Each member brought their own unique set of abilities to the table, forming a well-rounded unit capable of handling any mission thrown their way. Sam Chapman, standing tall at six feet and hardened from his days in the Navy SEALs, was a born leader with unwavering determination. He was joined by his comrades, Ryan Fitzgerald, the weapons expert, Sarah Lee, a master of stealth and reconnaissance, Michael Wilson, the communications specialist, and Emily Smith, the newest member and demolition expert. Together, they formed a fearsome unit with a single-minded purpose to complete the mission at all costs. With an abundance of experience and finely honed skills, the team was equipped with the latest weapons and gear tailored to their missions. They carried rifles such as the M4 carbine for accuracy and the M24 for long-range capabilities, and sidearms such as the Glock 17 for reliability and ease of use. They also had a variety of explosive devices, from C4 to fragmentation grenades at their disposal. In terms of protection, they were outfitted with advanced body armor, such as the interceptor body armor, to protect against small arms fire. They also had night vision goggles for low-light operations and communication equipment to stay in contact with each other. Tactical gloves, boots, and helmets provided an extra layer of safety, and they had access to the AI-powered Cypher-Eye device for field analytics, complete with OCR and advanced machine learning abilities, a secure encrypted storage, and a high-resolution display. The team also had access to special vehicles such as SUVs and vans, each fitted with state-of-the-art security systems and weapons. Highly trained in the handling and use of these vehicles in different conditions, they could deal with combat scenarios effectively. The Black Ops team was a well-oiled machine, capable of working effectively in high-stress and hazardous conditions to accomplish their goals. This team of skilled and determined individuals was ready to take on any challenge that came their way. Sam could still remember how he ended up as a member of the elite Shadowfire squad. Growing up, he had always dreamed of serving his country and protecting its citizens. After joining the military and working his way through the ranks, he was recruited by the Shadowfire Squad for his exceptional skills and leadership potential. Sam couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to this mission than just taking down the enemies. He knew that the other members of the team had their own reasons for being part of the team, and he remembered special evenings with his team that were like family and the long conversations together. Ryan had lost his entire family to a terrorist attack and had joined the military to take down those responsible. Sarah had lost her father to a criminal raid and had made it her mission to prevent others from suffering the same fate. 
and Michael, the team's expert in explosives, had joined the military to save lives and make a difference in the world. As they set out on their mission, Sam knew that they were all united by a common goal, to protect their country and its citizens, no matter the cost. He also knew that they were a team of highly skilled individuals, with different talents and different motivations, but united by the same cause. Introduction The Company Sikavast Sikavast, an esteemed presence in the tech industry, had seen its humble beginnings in the early 21st century. Then a small startup, it aimed to provide advanced technology solutions for businesses, led by a team of forward-thinking engineers and technologists. With their expertise and cutting-edge research, Sikavast grew to become a leader in quantum computing, a field that was rapidly taking off. It was in the mid-2020s that Sikavast made a bold move to focus all its attention on quantum computing. With its cross-disciplinary research teams, Sikavast set its sights on ambitious goals, and its ideas were quickly met with excitement. The new technology promised faster processing speeds, unheard-of levels of data storage, and unparalleled security. As the world marveled at these amazing advancements, Sikavast gained more and more recognition for revolutionizing the tech industry. But with great power comes great responsibility, and the company quickly felt the weight of the moral implications of their work. Many of their new discoveries could be used for good, but could just as easily be turned to darker purposes. Knowing this, the researchers at Sikavast worked tirelessly to ensure that their innovations would be used only for the benefit of humanity. It was a difficult task but one that they stayed committed to, and their efforts soon began to produce tangible results. Having conquered the quantum computing landscape, Sikavast had set their sights on something even more ambitious, a single chip that could do it all. After years of diligent research and development, Sikavast unveiled its newest product, the Model 1. It was the most powerful quantum processor with unmatched computational capability, and it promised to revolutionize the tech industry. At its core, the Model 1 was composed of several hundred thousand custom-made transistors that were connected in a unique way to create what was called a quantum tunneling effect. This allowed for incredibly fast processing speeds and near-instantaneous access to data from around the world. In addition, the chip also featured error correction and built-in security measures that prevented hackers from gaining access or tampering with information, making it virtually impenetrable. Sikavast's work on the Model 1 did not go unnoticed. It quickly became one of the most talked-about products in the tech world. The company was hailed as an innovator for pushing boundaries and challenging expectations, and its stock soared as investors rushed to get in on this new technology. With a bright future ahead of them, Sikavast continued to perfect their cutting-edge invention, providing further enhancements over time to ensure that they remained at the forefront of quantum computing innovation. And Maxwell Blackwood, the CEO of Sikavast, had done it. After more than seven years of hard work and dedication, his company had launched its revolutionary quantum chip, the Model 1. He couldn't help but feel proud as he watched from the sidelines. This was a historic moment a technological breakthrough that could potentially change the world for the better. The unveiling of the Model 1 was met with rapturous applause and even more intense media coverage, with everyone from tech bloggers to corporate executives marveling at this new invention. As requests flooded in from all over the world, Maxwell was inundated with requests for interviews and keynote speeches. He graciously accepted each invitation, eager to spread the word about Sikavast's groundbreaking work. But while he basked in this newfound attention and press coverage, Maxwell couldn't help but feel a growing sense of dread. The more people learned about their incredible new product, the more questions arose regarding its potential uses and implications. There were legitimate concerns about whether or not it could be used for nefarious purposes, or if it would lead to data breaches due to inadequate security protocols. Even though Sikavast had worked hard to ensure that these concerns were addressed by their development team prior to launch, there was still an element of uncertainty hanging in the air. An understanding that this could all go horribly wrong if proper precautions weren't taken now rather than later. 
Maxwell knew he needed to take immediate action if he wanted to protect his company from any potential backlash or fallout from their invention. So he set out on a mission to create a set of ethical guidelines that would be adopted by everyone involved in developing and utilizing quantum computing technology. Customers, developers, researchers, companies alike. These guidelines would become known as the Blackwood Code, an ode to Maxwell's unyielding commitment to doing right by his customers and creating responsible products with clear ethical boundaries that everyone could adhere to. Blackwood knew that he was in uncharted and dangerous waters. His invention had taken the world by storm, and while it had been a source of immense pride for him and his team, it had also become a potential weapon in the global power struggle. He could feel himself being pulled in all directions, with each faction vying to get their hands on the Model 1. Meanwhile, those who wanted to use quantum computing for more nefarious purposes began to circle like vultures. They wanted access to the technology, and they were willing to go to extreme lengths in order to obtain it. In order for Blackwood and Sycavas to stay one step ahead of these predators, he needed allies and fast. And so, Blackwood began reaching out to industry leaders across the globe, from computer scientists in Silicon Valley to government officials in Washington, D.C. He proposed a set of ethical guidelines, the Blackwood Code, which would ensure that any applications of quantum computing were ethically sound and properly regulated. The response was overwhelmingly positive. Almost everyone agreed that there needed to be safeguards put into place before this powerful new technology could be unleashed onto the world stage. And so, the Blackwood Code was put into effect. Maxwell felt as if he had finally found a way to protect his invention from falling into the wrong hands. But then, something unexpected happened. Word started spreading about Sycavast's revolutionary chip, and its potential uses went far beyond what even Blackwood could have imagined. Suddenly, governments around the world began clamoring for access. Surveillance agencies wanted to use it for data collection purposes. Militaries wanted it for monitoring enemy activity. Multinational corporations wanted it for market analysis. Tech giants wanted it for their next big product launch. Everyone seemed eager to get their hands on this potentially game-changing technology. Blackwood knew that he had no choice but stand firm against these forces, if not just for his own conscience, then for the safety of the world. It was a daunting task, but he was determined to do whatever it took to ensure that his invention was used for the benefit of humanity and not for its destruction. Maxwell Blackwood and the team at Sycavast knew that they had to do more than just protect their invention from unscrupulous players. They had to ensure that the Model 1 chip was used responsibly and ethically. To do this, they made sure that the chip would have integrated safeguards and regulations. This included protocols for data privacy, security measures, and ethical use of computing power. In addition, Sycavast organized a series of rigorous tests to check the chip's performance before it was released publicly. They subjected it to intense physical stress tests in order to simulate real-world scenarios. The team also upgraded the internal components of the chip so they could reach peak efficiency while still being energy efficient. Maxwell Blackwood realized that responsible innovation was key. He wanted his team's work be an example of how technology could be used for the betterment of society. With the Model 1 chip ready for public consumption, Sycavast realized that this invention was going to be a game-changer. The American Secret Service Investigation The CIA had been watching ByteDance, the enigmatic Chinese tech company, for months. They had heard rumors of their plans to take over Sycavast, and the CIA was determined to get to the bottom of it. In an effort to uncover why ByteDance was up to overtake Sycavast, a team of top-notch hackers and operatives had been assembled by the American Secret Service. The hackers and operatives set about their task with enthusiasm as they embarked on a mission to try and unlock the secrets of ByteDance. Through a series of cyber attacks, security breaches, and even some old-fashioned detective work, the team discovered that ByteDance had done extensive research on Sycavast's Model 1 chip. It appeared that ByteDance had plans to use this technology for their own nefarious purposes. Something sinister was afoot. Furthermore, the team uncovered evidence that ByteDance had been using their financial clout to try and buy out Maxwell Blackwood's shares in Sycavast. 
With no way to prove it was true, the American Secret Service had no choice but to continue their investigation until they could find undeniable proof of the Chinese tech giant's wrongdoings. Sam and his team knew that this could have dire consequences for national security, and they were determined to uncover the truth. We need to find concrete evidence of ByteDance's actions, said Sam to his team as they sat in their headquarters. If we can prove that they're trying to buy out Sikavast, we can stop them in their tracks. But how do we do that? Emily asked, one of his team members. ByteDance is a massive company with a lot of resources at their disposal. It's not going to be easy to gather evidence against them. We'll have to get inventive, Sam declared confidently. We'll figure it out. The team worked tirelessly day and night, gathering all the information they could find on ByteDance, until finally they uncovered an incriminating transaction sent from a shell company located in Jebel Ali of the United Arab Emirates, UAE. The transaction confirmed that ByteDance had indeed been behind the attempted buyout of Sikavast, proving beyond any doubt what Maxwell Blackwood already suspected. His invention was being targeted by corporate espionage. With this new intel in hand, the American Secret Service put together a plan to bring down ByteDance and protect Maxwell's invention from falling into enemy hands. Although it would be difficult undertaking given all the power and influence held by this tech giant, it seemed like their only hope for preserving Sikavast's independence and ensuring the Blackwood Code remained intact. The American Secret Service team had been given a daunting task to uncover why ByteDance wanted to acquire Sikavast and what they were ultimately up to. The team worked tirelessly, hacking into Chinese servers and infiltrating a web of networks, servers, and computers that stretched across the country. Guided by a single-minded mission to uncover the truth, they worked ceaselessly, chasing down every lead and pursuing every piece of evidence. Finally, after weeks of hard work, the team uncovered something unexpected. ByteDance was planning on using Sikavast's Model 1 chip for their own very specific purpose. It appeared that the tech giant was attempting to create a global information network, one that would be capable of collecting data from millions of sources around the world. If successful, this network would give them unprecedented access to vast amounts of data, which could be used to manipulate markets and control public opinion on an unprecedented scale. We've got to stop them, said Agent Fitzgerald, slamming his fist on the table. If ByteDance is successful in creating this global information network, they'll have the power to control the flow of information on a global scale. They'll be able to manipulate markets and influence public opinion at will. But how do we prove it? Agent Wilson asked. All we have right now is speculation and circumstantial evidence. We need to keep digging, said Sam, the leader of the team, we need to find that smoking gun, that one piece of evidence that will tie everything together and prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that ByteDance is up to no good. As the Shadow Fire team continued their investigation, they knew that the stakes were higher than ever before. The fate of the world hung in the balance, and they couldn't afford to let ByteDance's nefarious plans come to fruition. Once they had pieced together all the pieces of the puzzle, it became clear that ByteDance was intent on monopolizing the information industry, controlling access to data in order to gain an upper hand over other competitors in the field. Understanding this revelation filled the American Secret Service with dread. It seemed as though Maxwell Blackwood's invention was going to be used for nefarious ends after all. Leaders from governments around the globe and tech specialists from various organizations convened for an urgent conference focused on the potential measures to halt ByteDance's takeover of Sikavast. After careful consideration and prolonged discussion, it was decided that a special forces unit needed to be sent in to stop ByteDance from advancing, an effort that would soon become known as Operation High Tide. Representatives from different countries worked in collaboration on covert activities, ranging from reconnaissance to cyber warfare, with the aim of weakening ByteDance's presence across the world. The American Secret Service was desperate. Their resources were dwindling, and they were in a race against time to penetrate ByteDance's systems. With no other option but to enlist the help of a specialist CIA agent, they reached out to Sam Chapman an experienced, skilled hacker who had aided them in the past. Sam inspected the network with an eagle eye, his fingers flying over the keyboard as he sought any vulnerabilities in their security architecture. 
The team watched with bated breath, hoping that their gamble would pay off. Sam knew that most cyber attacks followed similar patterns, and that it was just a matter of exploiting even minute vulnerabilities in order for him to get inside ByteDance's systems. He decided to use various hacking techniques such as reverse engineering, SQL injection, brute force attacks, exploit scanning, buffer overflow attacks, and more in order to gain access. Sam's fingers flew over the keyboard, typing in various combinations of words and numbers into the computer. He was trying out numerous different potential passwords, hoping one of them would be successful. He also exploited various vulnerabilities in the system's security architecture by using reverse engineering and exploit scanning techniques, and he used malicious programs such as viruses and trojans to try and infiltrate the system, hoping that it would give him access. Sam spent hours combing through the data to sort through the vast amount of information and identify patterns and anomalies. Sam was determined to find a way to stop ByteDance's planned takeover of Sikavast, and he was willing to do whatever it took to make it happen. As the deadline for the takeover approached, the possibility of a trade war or military conflict loomed on the horizon. Sam knew that he had to act fast. It was now or never, thought Sam, as he continued to search ByteDance's systems for a way in. He was completely focused, intent on finding a way to get inside the network at all costs. Operation High Tide had to be a success, he said to himself as he continued to search. Sam was completely focused, intent on finding a way to get inside the network at all costs, and turned to his artificial intelligence device for help. Using its advanced analytical capabilities, he was able to analyze the situation from all angles with extremely high speed and accuracy. His AI program wasn't perfect yet and could still be improved, but when it worked, it greatly improved Sam's work. Sam's AI assistant guided him through the mission as he carefully worked to overcome each obstacle presented by ByteDance's security team. He spent countless hours trying to find vulnerable points in their system, testing different techniques until he finally discovered a way to access their network. He knew that it wouldn't be easy, but he was determined to do whatever it took to protect his country and its values. Over the course of several weeks, Sam ran numerous tests against ByteDance's networks, trying out each method in turn until finally one of them worked. The clock ticked as Sam gazed at the monitor, his fingers typing rapidly across the keyboard. After an hour of intense concentration, a glimmer of success crossed his face. He had finally broken through ByteDance's defenses. Cheers erupted from the American Secret Service members in the room, but their celebration was short-lived. They had to act quickly to erase any traces of their infiltration before ByteDance discovered them. Sam sat at his computer, engrossed in a sea of data. His fingers raced across the keyboard as he scoured ByteDance's networks for the evidence he needed. He set up a complex tapestry of virtual security measures to protect his identity his fingers moving nimbly over the keyboard as he decrypted ByteDance's networks layer after layer. He worked tirelessly, windows upon windows of code and data filling up his screen as he dug deeper into the company's systems. His eyes ached from hours of staring at the bright monitor, but he pushed himself on. The longer he worked, the more information he uncovered. It was clear that ByteDance was attempting to create a monopoly on data like nothing seen before. Finally, Sam had enough proof to confirm the American Secret Service's suspicions. The American Secret Service agents frantically exchanged encrypted emails and made urgent calls to their counterparts across the world. They were up late into the night, devising strategies and plans of action to thwart ByteDance's insidious plot. All their work was conducted out of sight, behind closed doors, as they raced against the clock. Sam and the CIA agents were already in the midst of a realm of secrets and lies. The team moved around the room quietly and efficiently, setting up the advanced surveillance equipment and preparing to run a thorough scan of the ByteDance systems. The team of investigators huddled around their laptops and the large projection screen displaying server logs, piecing together the strange digital footprints left behind by the tech giant ByteDance. We've got something here said Agent Smith, breaking the silence. It looks like they've been using shell companies to funnel money into arms deals with some pretty unsavory characters. After many keystrokes, they were able to unlock a trove of incriminating documents 
emails and wiretap recordings revealing a vast network of covert operations. Got some more, said Agent Fitzgerald, pointing to another set of documents on the screen. It looks like they've been using their technology for cyber espionage. They've been infiltrating government and corporate networks all over the world. And with every new file they found, their suspicions of illegal arms dealing and cyber espionage were confirmed. After hours of painstaking work, the pieces finally started to fit together, and the truth was slowly revealed. The team exchanged worried glances, the gravity of the situation starting to sink in. This is it, said Agent Smith. This is the smoking gun we've been looking for. As they continued to pore over the evidence, the full extent of ByteDance's illegal activities came into focus. The tech giant had been using their immense resources and cutting-edge technology for nefarious purposes, and the team knew that it was their duty to bring them to justice. After several weeks of research and analysis, the agents came to a conclusion and prepared the final protocol. February 5th, 2023. Operation High Tide Investigation. Possible Alternative. The proposed acquisition of Sikavast by ByteDance, a tech giant that is backed by the Chinese government, is an undeniable threat to national security. ByteDance could gain access to Sikavast's powerful technologies and research, which could be used to maliciously target the United States and its allies. The CIA must take action and prevent this acquisition from happening at all costs in order to safeguard the nation and protect its citizens. Sam was called in by the CIA director for a private chat. Sir, we've been tracking ByteDance for months now, said Sam as he sat in the director's office. Their acquisition of Sikavast is a clear threat to national security. We can't let it happen. The director nodded gravely. I agree, Sam. We can't afford to let a company backed by the Chinese government gain access to Sikavast's technologies. We need to do everything in our power to stop this acquisition. We'll do whatever it takes, sir, Sam replied determinedly. We have a strong team and we're ready for whatever challenges come our way. I know you are, Sam, said the director, placing a hand on his shoulder. We'll do everything we can to protect our country and its citizens. We can't afford to let ByteDance get their hands on Sikavast. Sir, I think it's important that we make contact with Sikavast and speak with their CEO, Maxwell Blackwood. We need to know what they know about the Model 1 quantum chip and ByteDance's plans and see if they're willing to work with us to stop the acquisition. They're one of the leading tech companies in the industry, and their knowledge and resources could be invaluable in this mission. The director of the CIA nodded thoughtfully. I agree, Sam. Make the arrangements and go speak with Blackwood in Seattle. We need to do everything in our power to prevent this acquisition from happening. Yes, sir. I'll get right on it. Sam stood and saluted before turning and heading out of the office, ready to take on this new challenge. The clock was ticking on the proposed acquisition of Sikavast by the Chinese technology giant ByteDance. With the deal rapidly approaching its expiration date, tensions between the United States and China began to escalate. The takeover had triggered widespread concerns about the potential transfer of sensitive information and technology to a foreign entity, thus posing a major threat to the security of the nation. The U.S. government, along with industry experts and numerous lawmakers, had vehemently opposed the transaction and urged for it to be blocked. They believed that such an action would give China an unfair advantage in the tech sector and could potentially damage America's economy and national security. Simultaneously, China had rejected these claims and maintained that their intention was only to make a straightforward business move. They accused the United States of trying to impede their economic progress. If a resolution wasn't reached soon, it could trigger a full-blown trade war or even open up a military conflict between both nations. The situation had become increasingly complex. Sam, with the help of the CIA, had to act fast. He had to travel to Seattle and meet with Maxwell Blackwood to discuss the acquisition and do everything he could to prevent the transaction from going through. He had to protect the nation, and he had to protect Sikavast. 